guaranteed. I'm gonna be swapping it out with entirely how to pick up all the women. I don't think anyone's strong enough to pick up all of anything. Like, you're talking about literally half the world's population. I think the strongest person in the world can only, like, pick up, like, what, like, a thousand pounds, I think is the most? What is that? There's, like, seven billion people in the world, so that's, like, 3.5 billion people times the average person weighs what, like, I don't know, let's just say a hundred pounds. So that's a hundred pounds. Actually, yeah, what, how much does the average person weigh? Actually, the average person weighs probably a lot more. How much does the average adult weigh? Average adult weighs 136 pounds, and that's the average adult. So average adult weighs 136 pounds. So if you average that out, and obviously some people weigh more, some people weigh less. So multiply that by 3.5 billion people. Yeah, there's no way a person could lift up that. That's literally like trillion trillions of pounds. Yeah, no, sorry. I don't think anyone could lift that. I miss Scabby. Scabby! Scabby, come back. My rat misses you too. Let me rephrase. How to attract women? What do you mean, attract women? What, like with a magnet? Women aren't magnets, and I'm pretty sure women aren't metallic, so I don't think a magnet would work on women. I don't think a magnet would work on anybody. What do you mean, attract women? Oh, you mean like attract their interest. Oh, okay, that makes a lot more sense. Um, again, guys, think about, hmm. You know what, that's a much more complicated question, actually. I mean, how do you attract anybody's interest? I'm going to give you guys a pro tip. Ready? I know what I'm about to say is going to blow your mind. You're literally going to be like, bad. You're so smart. Pro tip for you. Okay. Pro tip. Okay. If you want to, for lack of a better word, attract a particular group. Okay. I.e in this example, women, a good thing to do that might help would be to go and ask women things that they like. But you also need to consider that every woman is different, okay? And then see what you could do that would improve, I don't know, your dating chances, I don't know. Anyway, point is, that's that's the reality of it, okay? Like, I'll give you an example, right? You know what? I'm going to give you, like, the best advice ever. Here we go. Best advice ever. If you want to be a baker and you want to know how you can become a baker, you're not going to go and ask someone who is not a baker, right? You're not going to go and ask a mechanic how to be a baker. You're going to go and ask a baker. And this advice applies to a lot of things. Now, if you also know, now you this there are different analogies this can apply to too. Like if there's someone who buys a lot of bread, maybe they also might have like good advice on, you know, things related to baking and bread maybe. But the best way to get feedback on something like that is go and talk to a baker if you want to be a baker. And so I'm going to give you guys pro tip. This is literally everybody listen, write this write this down. When you get old enough to where you're thinking about going to college or what you want to do in your future, here's the advice. Ready? Find somebody in the field that you want to be in. Ask them. Tell them this. Go, hello, person who is in the field I want to be in. Okay? I want to do what you do. I want to be a baker, a chef, what, whatever. Fill in the blank. Ask them, what do I need to do to get to where you are? And then they will give you advice. And then whatever they tell you, that is, don't just ask one, ask a couple people, okay? So for example, if you wanna be a computer technician, call up a couple computer technicians, say, hey, I wanna be a computer technician. 
what do I need to do? What do I need to take? What classes would you recommend I take in college? What would you recommend I go to school for? What would you recommend I go get certifications, go take courses, go get training, become a, an apprentice, go and do that because they will give you advice that is the best advice you'll ever get. Okay. Talking to your, your counselors at school is great. Talking to people who are actually in that field, 10 times better. Okay. Because your college counselors or your counselors or your high school counselors, your teachers will say stuff like, oh, go to college, go get a degree in this. That may not be the best approach for what you want to do. So the best advice you will get is from people in that field. And this advice can be taken and applied to a bunch of other areas in life. OK, for example, you want to be a YouTuber. Good. Best advice you're going to get is from a YouTuber. OK. Um, not, it's not necessarily that nobody else can give you good or better advice because I'll give you some pro tips. There are a lot of people who aren't YouTubers who probably give really insanely good advice. I know that for a fact because I know of people who are not YouTubers and yet give crazy good advice. But in general, where you're looking for feedback. Now, I could give you feedback, obviously, in certain areas based off of people I've talked to, because I like talking to people about various things um, and about their lives and about things like that. But also keep in mind that sometimes the best authority is to reach out to people. But you also need to keep in mind that everybody's different. So um, if you are talking now, could I give you like my own personal experience at I'm going to get, okay, I'm about to drop. Everybody write this down, write this down, write this down, write this down right now. This is about, I'm about to straight up blow your mind times two. Rat, why are you chewing on your foot? Hold on guys. How do I move this closer? We're going down. I saw that. I don't try and do that. I just saw you chewing on your foot. Yeah, you're trying to play it off. Look at me, I'm so cute. I chew on my foot. Yeah, yeah I see you. Haha, <laughs> got rat count. All right, write this down. Okay, so the question was something about attracting women. I'm about to say something that's gonna blow your mind, okay? I know this, what I'm about to say is gonna sound so insane and it's gonna sound so crazy, but I, I kid you not, this is true. Get ready, here we go. I literally, I know this is crazy, but guess what? Women are people. <laughs> Mind blown. I know, I know. Literally, I straight up, I'm not even kidding. Women are people. Seriously. I know, I literally, I know, I'm, pause, pause. I know it's crazy. Seriously, I'm not, I straight up am not even kidding, but this is true. Women are people, okay? I'm trying not to be sarcastic, but I apologize. So guess what? Fun fact, fun fact. A lot of things that people like or that attract people in general will also attract women. Do you like nice people? Do you like it when people are courteous, respectful, kind, um, appreciative of you? You're a person. Women are also people. <laughs> I know. I know. It's crazy. Women being people too. That's crazy. No. Yeah, I know. I'm being facetious. But yes, women are people. So a lot of things that if you insert people like this, guess what? People in general like it when you're kind to them. Women are also people. So it logic would follow that women probably like it when you're kind to them. Because guess what? Men are also people. Men like it when you're kind to them. Okay? So people like it when you're kind to them. People like it when you're respectful. People like it when you treat them the way they want to be treated. Okay? So best advice is treat everybody like a person. People like that. Okay? <laughs> treat others the way you want to be treated. So I know... I just dropped, I know I just rocked so many people's worlds right now, okay? I know I just did, okay? Point is, insert all people, right? Um, all people, regardless of who they are, 
Rat, please stop chewing on your foot. The point is, treat all people, regardless of who they are, like people. You know what? There you go. Treat people like people. <laughs> there you go. That's I just dropped an absolute muffin. Treat all people like people. There you go. I know. <gasps> Treat people like people. I know it's crazy. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm I was being a little facetious there. I hope you can forgive me. I don't think I can give super specific relationship advice. I do give good relationship advice. I'm not gonna give it on stream though. Thank you though. Um, but if I ever see you, like, so a lot of my friends ask me all the time for relationship advice. I give it to my friends. I don't feel comfortable giving it on stream, though. I don't know why. But I just, I, I don't want to give specific relationship advice. Because usually when I give advice to people, um, I try and know as much about the situ situation as I can. The best, I'll give you a pro tip, actually. I can give you general relationship advice in this regard. Here's the way that I try and give relationship advice, okay? It's like this. Someone tells me, hey, bad boy Halo, I am having this problem with my person that I'm with, insert situation. I then try and do this. I try and go, okay, I'm going to put myself in the other person's shoes to the best of my ability. Right. And I try and think of the situation that has been described to me from that person's perspective. Right. And then to the best of my ability, I try and explain that to the person I'm talking to. Just to give them a clearer picture of maybe maybe or a different perspective, maybe than how the person that they're with may be thinking. You feel me? Because you would be surprised how many people don't really think about that. But anyway, that's usually how I try and approach. Yeah, rat's just biting her foot. She'd munch on her foot. I know. She'd be on a muffin. She does that sometimes when I'm streaming. Um, pretty much... I... Stop. Hey, Lu Lucy. Lucy. <laughs> she looked right at the camera. But anyway... But anyway, I don't know. Again, guys, at the end of the day, just the point is treat people like people. Um, anyway, and and also fun fact, everybody, keep this in mind. Advice, any advice for any situation. All right, rat, you, I'm moving the camera off you. You're being a muffin. Any advice is like a tool in a tool belt, okay? Or any piece of advice or whatever. Some of it may not be applicable to every situation or to your situation or it may only be applicable to one situation so don't take any particular advice as applicable to everything okay for example you're not going to brush your teeth with a hammer right and you're not gonna hammer in a nail with a toothbrush right so just a little bit of advice there for everybody Rat is a paid actress. Prove me wrong. You're correct. I pay Rat in treats. Also, if it, guys, if I ever say a piece of advice that you don't necessarily agree with or you don't think is applicable to a given situation, that's totally okay. But also just keep in mind that it's, again, like I said, not every piece of advice is applicable to every situation. So don't be like... Don't ever bite my head off for it, okay? Don't be like, Bad gave this advice for this situation, and that's not necessarily applicable to my situation or another situation. It's like, yes, you are correct. And I'm, I'm acknowledging that. But I'm saying, like, I'm acknowledging that in advance, okay? Advice is, is general and isn't always super specific. But the point is, that's just the way the muffin crumbles. Yeah. Do, do, do.